What's up, guys? JFM here. Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. Today is episode 40, and you know what that means, everyone. It's a download day. Everybody get excited. Uh, so at the end of this video, I'll save whatever I have, or maybe a little bit after, depending on what I still need to finish up. But um, after that, you guys will be able to download the world using the link in the description. So hopefully you guys can take advantage of that and have some fun joining me. Maybe you can change some stuff in my build send pictures of it let me know what you guys think you know it's just awesome and I know you guys love download days so be sure to smash that like button to show your support because these are really truly the best days uh, of the series and it's episode 40 which means it's the fourth time we've had a download day this series is flying by um, so yeah I'm very excited uh, but let's grab this meat really quick and let's get to work starting with the few things you guys suggested now I do want to go on an adventure today because I've been building like crazy recently so I really want to get on an adventure but one thing I do want to do beforehand actually there's a ton of things I want to do beforehand but uh we can get them all done fairly fast. First thing is I want to make a note block doorbell. This is an awesome comment from uh, JP Villa, and I'll have the comment on screen. And they basically suggested, like, to make a doorbell out of a note block. Now, I can't make the awesome, like, ding dong sound because I don't have enough room behind my door. I only have enough room for one one block. That's it. I only have enough for one block. So I can't make two note blocks and have it, like, be ding dong like that. But... Um, I can, I can make, oh, I just need another piece of wood. I can make a nice little dong doorbell, so it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be one. It's just gonna be one, but it'll work. It'll, it'll work, it'll work. So, I'll get that ready, and, uh, I'll also get a button, and I think that's all I need. I really do. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the button and the, uh, note block out. And if you guys don't know what a note block is, uh, if you didn't watch the review, this is what a note block does. You can basically just tap and make music with it, and then if you keep it at the same note, Every time it's hit with redstone, it'll make the same note. Um, so yeah, that's how that works. And I'll go ahead and grab it. And uh, to make this work, what I want to do is make a doorbell out of it. So it's not, like I said, it's not going to be it's not going to be like ding dong like a classic doorbell, but um, it is going to be it's going to be cool. It's going to it's just going to be like a little ding doorbell. So it'll be more like one of those uh, bells you find in restaurants. But uh, let's see, let's see. We got to find the right pitch. So not that one, not that one. Ah, uh, what about this one? Yeah, we'll keep it at that pitch. So now, whenever I do this, and then I can place my doorbell right here, I should be able to make a little bit of music every time I ring my doorbell. How sweet is that? So, it's not a traditional doorbell ding-dong sound, but it's pretty close. I mean, it's as good as I can get with how much room I had. So, yeah, we have a doorbell for any neighbors that want to come visit. That is awesome. Now, let's go ahead and uh, get down with some more things uh, that were requested in the comments section. While I am doing that, I do want to go ahead and die another caller. Buddy, Buddy is outside, and uh, I think Pumpkin is too. Pumpkin's in the backyard and Buddy's on the dock. But uh, we have a guy down there who needs a dyed collar. And for some reason, I don't know how I got these ink sacks, but I found ink sacks in one of my chests. Maybe it was out of maybe it was out of a village chest. I have no clue. I think it was. But I have a few ink sacks, so I want to go ahead and dye up some uh, some of Boo's collar because remember we had two new dogs, Pumpkin and Boo, and I never got to dye Boo's collar. But now. There we go! Boo's got a black collar, so that's Boo. Unfortunately, in this new update, I can't actually walk the dogs, and something's up with their tails. Their tails are really, really funny. I don't know if I'll be able to see any of these guys' tails. I don't think you can actually see these ones, but some of the dogs outside have some funky-looking tails. So you guys will be able to see that, but there we go! Uh, so as far as the other comments go, I did get a ton of comments last episode, and a lot of great ideas on things to do. Another one, uh, another great comment that I got was from a user named Nico per per Paragras, pa no, Paragas? Yes, Paragas. And he said his suggestion was to change the, he was, his suggestion was to change the torches. Uh, basically, like, the torches in the cemetery with, with redstone torches. Because it looks pretty scary, right? I mean, it looks scary out there. It, it truly does. It, it, it's pretty spooky stuff. So, with the redstone torches, it'll become even spookier. So, I want to make a ton of torches. I don't know how many I'm going to have to make, but there is a crafting table up there, so it's not too big of a deal. 
But uh, I'll just go ahead and craft up 14, and hopefully that will be enough. So I'll make my way up to the cemetery, and we can get this done. And uh, this will be the second thing. And we're going to get a ton of redstone stuff done, because it's awesome. It's awesome. We're using redstone for a ton of different builds. We've used it for blood. We've used it to make a, uh, a doorbell. And now we're going to be using it to, making some, uh, to make some spooky torches on the cemetery. So I'll go ahead and replace all these torches, and uh, I'll be right back once I get this done. And that just about wraps it up. So that's good. That's that's really good. Now we'll have to come back at nighttime to see how spooky it is. But I think that'll I, I think that'll look awesome, especially because those torches don't light up as much as regular torches do. So it's just gonna be a very very gloomy mood over here. I think it'll be pretty cool. So I'm definitely pleased with that. Uh, now let's go ahead and do the next thing you guys suggested. And this suggestion is from Star Fruity, and he says, please change the eye and mouth of the pumpkin to glowstone lamps or redstone lamps I think that's what they're actually called um, and basically what's gonna happen is is uh, oh and let's see if you can see this dog's tail um, no you can't okay so I don't know maybe it was when I closed my world something happened to it, it looked like a rectangle it was really weird but anyways um, yeah so whenever I'm gonna be able to hit a button I'll be able to basically light up all of the lamps and I know yesterday you guys told me I passed up glowstone I'm sorry I did not realize I did that how do I make glowstone lamps what do I got to use to make that? I think it's just... Ah, here it is. Okay, glowstone and redstone. So I'll go ahead and make 16 glowstone. 16 glowstone. And now I can make what? Uh, okay, well, we're going to have to make... I'm going to have to grab a little bit more redstone. So we'll just grab a few more blocks out of that stack. Change that all into regular redstone. And then I can make a ton more lamps. Yes, perfect, 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 perfect. And I will have to go ahead and clear out my inventory a little bit here. Uh, what can I... What can I get rid of? I don't need these feathers. I don't need any more pumpkins. I don't need this leather. I don't need the diamond either. I thought I had to make uh, the note block with the diamond, but I think that's a jukebox. So, yeah, let's go ahead and head over to the pumpkin and get this thing built. I don't know how I'm going to make this work, but we'll see. We'll see. So get rid of all of this obsidian and put redstone lamps. I don't know if this is going to look good. It's a brilliant idea, to be honest with you, because I can turn it on and off, and maybe I can have it on at nighttime. I just don't know how well, how good it's going to look, to be honest. I don't know if it's going to look good. I don't know. I don't know. You guys got to let me know. I think this is a good idea. But at the same time, I don't know if it's going to look very good. So I'll do half of it really quick, or at least half of the mouth, and you guys will be able to tell me what you think uh, about, this, about, about this idea. You guys can let me know. And we are just about done getting this last piece off. There we are. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I think this is a really, really good idea because I think maybe with, like, a daylight sensor, it'll be really awesome. I just don't know if that, yeah, I don't know if that looks good. I really like the black. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We can give this a go. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and take a peek, see if I can get this powered. Now, is that not working? Huh, how do I get this to power on? Well, do I have to use redstone dust? Let's see. Okay. There we go. Okay, that powered those three. Ah, this is going to be a little bit tricky than this is going to be a little bit trickier than I thought. Uh, okay, I can probably use this. Ah, I see. I see. I, okay, let's I see what I got to do. I see what I got to do. All right. Um so let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. This needs probably need to go right there. That goes there. And uh, let's see if we can get this to work. Let's see if we can get this to work. So this will go like that. This will go like this. Oh, wait. They're not... Hmm. I don't know how to power all of these. I really don't know how to power all of these. Maybe I could try like this. Hey, that may have worked. Let's take a look. Let's see if that actually works. Oh, I just missed one. Huh. Oh, you know what I can probably do? That maybe? No, because that's in the way. Hmm, I got it. I got an idea. I got an idea. So we'll try that. And um, and then I'm going to have to place this here. Then this needs to go here. Then this needs to go up one. And then this can go right here. And then this actually needs to go right here. I think this may work. Does that get all of them? That's redstone genius for you. So that's what that's going to look like. I think it'll be cool looking, but I don't know if it'll look as good as the black stuff. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know. Let me grab this pig really quick. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There we go. I didn't get the crit. Aw. Well, um, yeah. Oh, and we can check at nighttime as well. Does this look good? 
I don't know. It's really up to you guys. It's really up to you guys. I have no clue. Anyways, let's go over to the let's go over to the cemetery real quick and see how this thing looks at nighttime. Definitely pretty moody, but I think in order to set the real mood, I'm gonna have to get rid of these pumpkins. I can probably put regular pumpkins, but I can't use jack-o'-lanterns. And I think I have some torches out on this side as well. Do I? I do. Okay, so let me get rid of these torches really quick. And that should completely set the mood. Oh, look at that! It's so much darker and so much spookier. I really like it. That's awesome. Definitely a good effect. Oh, and that's actually powered up. So we got some lit blood over here. That's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, so I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. And I will go ahead and put normal pumpkins in here. But I think I got rid of them. Yeah, I got the, the I got rid of those guys. So I'll have to get the regular pumpkins back. But that looks good. I have another comment, another idea to do before I go exploring. And that is... What was that? Well, I don't know what's up with that. I really have no clue. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know. Some of these bugs with this beta. But anyways, I, oh, it's coming from the Enderman. Oh my goodness. It's an Enderman down there and his skin is going all over the place. That is so funny. Anyways, oh jeez, I can't see anything. All right, I gotta, I gotta go. Do I gotta go kill it? Do I gotta go to sleep? I don't even know what I gotta do. But that thing, oh jeez, that thing. Oh jeez. Anyways, this next comment is from a user named Bright Mining Freak. <laughs> it's a very weird username, but he said, "Make a first of all, make a hot tub, which I really want to do, and I think this may be a good hot tub room right here. Uh, maybe like put it over here, but I don't know if it's big enough. So that may be a hot tub room, or what I could do." is put the hot tub over here and I think that's probably what I'll do I'll probably make a hot tub over here but uh, I'll do that not in this episode because I really have been building too much so I want to make I want to make like experiments I want to use experiments with redstone or I want to explore because I've been building a lot I want to give you guys a break from building so that's that but he also had a brilliant idea and his idea was change the door on the pumpkin house to something darker and on the pumpkin house because it's right next to obsidian, the mouth is anyways, or the mouth is obsidian, well now it's not, but it was, I want to try using these dark oak doors, and I want to see how good that looks, I know it's going to look better than the oak doors, but um, I'm not sure if any other types of doors would look better, so you guys would have to let me know if you guys would like other doors, but I've used these ones too much, I think I've used the spruce ones twice already, I have them on every single door, Already, so I don't want to use those, but I, I, I think I, I think I think these ones will look pretty cool. So we'll give it a go, and it may look a little bit wonky now that I've changed it to. Oh, there's another Enderman out there. Oh, jeez, these Endermen. I got okay. I gotta how I gotta get rid of this is just do that and put it on peaceful, and the Enderman's gone now. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, so that doesn't look very good. But if I change these doors to a darker door, like these dark oak doors. What I think is going to happen is it's going to match, uh oh, it's going to match the, uh, it's going to match the, the, uh, the, uh, the theme a little bit. It's going to be a little bit spookier, but maybe the ones with hinges are going to look better. I don't know, because those look like they could be on a normal house. I don't know. They definitely look better. They match the logs up there. These are definitely a lot better than the regular oak. But maybe the ones with hinges will look a little bit better. I think the gold stands out a little bit too much. I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think, but that's good for now. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I almost got eaten. So, yeah. That is that. I think those are all of the new ideas uh, people had. Yeah, so those are, the, all, those are all the comments I got last episode. There's another Enderman. Jeez Louise. Look at that thing. Look at the glitches on that thing. I guess we'll kill it now. We'll kill it. We'll get this thing killed. Uh-oh. It's in the water now. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. There it is. Oh, no, 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 no. We're getting attacked by multiple things now. Jeez. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Let's get the Enderman. Let's get the Enderman first. There we go. Got the Enderman. And now we can get the spider as well. Good, good, good. Oh, another, another thing. Where is it? Oh, and it's a zombie villager as well. And two zombie villagers. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. You know what? I could do this episode. Does it have a unibrow? Does that have a weird unibrow thing? Does it have a... It does! You know what I want to do is I really want to get a zombie villager. I want to get one. I want to get a brand new zombie villager for the blacksmith. But I still haven't finished the blacksmith. I got to do that. I got to do that soon. Maybe off camera? I don't know. I got to figure out that. But uh, for now, we'll have to do that later. Let's go ahead and get on our journey. Where do we want to go? 
Where do we want to go? You know what? I re I really don't know where to go on this journey. So I think I found. I think I'm. I think I have a better idea because I don't want to just go randomly without a plan, right? Because I think it's gonna be pretty boring if I do that. So what I think I should do instead of going on a journey, I could go. I could go to the uh, to the cave back up there with my uh, with my what is it called? My my XP farm, my XP grinder. Get up to 30 levels, and then try to make this pick better, because right now it just has Unbreaking and Silk Touch. It doesn't have Efficiency, and it doesn't have Fortune, and I really, really want that again. So, let's go and see, let's go and see if we can do that. Let's go and see if we can get a Fortune or Efficiency enchantment on a pick, and I'll have to get 30 levels first, but that won't be too bad. And I don't want to have you guys sit through this, because it is pretty boring, so what I'll do is I'll just wait for a ton of mobs to show up, and then we can smack them all and see what kind of levels we get. And now we play the waiting game. I did, I want to let you guys know, quick tip, turn the difficulty down to the first notch, that's not peaceful anyways, if you're trying to use an XP farm. Unless, of course, you want armor. But for me, all the armor they have isn't as good as my armor, so I don't want to get my inventory filled with armor. So if you do that, they won't have armor. Good tip. Let's go ahead and wait. Alright, I just got, I actually just got a little bit of flossing in. I had a Listerine Mint Floss Ultra Clean on my desk. And uh, I went ahead and got some of that, but we're good. Now we have a ton of these guys to kill. Um, do I do this? I guess I do. I'm gonna use this up, because I will enchant- I, I'm gonna repair this diamond sword. I know it's a complete waste. Oh, you know, I'm gonna use the rest of this iron. I just wanna get one hit kill, and I don't know if my hand does the job. I can't hit him with items for some reason. Is that a bug? Must be a bug. Yeah, I can't even with items. Or maybe it's a new feature. I don't know. But I'm going to have to use this sword for now. Unless I have something else to hit him with. I can hit him with a hoe. No, I can't. Okay, so I guess I do got to hit him with this. I didn't want to, really, but I guess I will. Anyways, let's see. That's going to get me up to level 27, is it? Ah, uh, it's definitely not enough. Definitely not enough. I want to get up to 30, so I'll go ahead and redo that again. I got to find some other teeth to floss. Maybe I'll go floss my mom's. I don't know. <laughs> I gotta figure this out, but uh, I'll go ahead and wait again for some more. All right, down we go. And I really don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a 30. Le I don't. I don't think I'm gonna get 30 levels this time either. I, I really didn't wait that long. I'm impatient. I'm very. I'm very impatient. It just takes so long. It's not really. It's not that bad when I'm not making a video because I can just you know leave it open and watch football, do some homework. But when I'm recording a video, I just sit there. And it's just like I'm watching the recording, just nothing's happening. But only 28, so we're getting a level a pot. So why don't I do is I'll, I'll go floss two different people, because if I floss one person, <laughs> I only get a level. But if I floss two people, that'll give me two levels. So, <laughs> just kidding. I'll be right, I actually did floss myself though, you can hear, look. I'll open up, hear that? That's the sound of some floss, although I just, I just got another piece off, so, you know what, I may go floss someone. I may actually go floss someone. And down for round three. I have a bad feeling I'm gonna have to wait for round four, but, um, we'll give it a go anyway. So let's chop these guys up and see. We're halfway through level 28 now? Uh, it's, I'm not even gonna get to level 29, am I? I might. I think I will. No! It, will I? I won't! I won't even get to level 20! Alright. So, I do have to wait a little bit longer, but level 30 is coming my way. No worry, guys. We are going to get this enchantment done. No worries. All right. That ought to be plenty of time. If I don't have if I don't have 30 levels, I'm going to be very upset. Look at that. Look at that. There's so many. Okay, so 29. A little bit more. The flames are pretty good. The flames are picking up. I know. Oh, boy. It's looking like a 30 to me. I still see I still see a ton of legs. I still see a ton. It is 30. Okay, so we're good. We finally got 30 levels, and it's going to be a little bit more, actually. Get a little bit of a safety net here. Got a few, uh, 30 and a half, is it? I was checking my phone for a little while there. Awesome. So, 30 and a half levels. That is plenty enough to go enchant. Now, I want to make a new pickaxe, and I want to enchant it. And if I get a bad enchantment, I'm going to be very upset, and I'm going to end the video. And if I get a good enchantment, I'm going to get, I'm going to be very happy. And then I'll also end the video. <laughs> so, either way, it's going to be an ended video. But it'll end on a good mood if I get a good enchantment. One, like, I don't know, efficiency or fortune. 
Because if I remember correctly, I think when I fell in the nether, I lost my fortune pick. I think so. So I haven't actually mined since I went to the nether that one time. So I should probably go ahead and do that. Look how cool the church looks from over here, and the pumpkin, and the, oh jeez. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys, this right here... Um, it's supposed to be, uh, it's supposed to be a reminder that I want to make an underground tunnel that goes over to the church. I really want to do that, uh, later on though. Obviously not anytime soon. But I want to look, oh jeez. Oh jeez. The house is being guarded. I must find another way around. Hmm. Let's go this way. Oh yeah, let's go this way. Let's go the parkour way. Let's go the parkour way. Oh, that's awesome. That was sweet. I didn't even know I could do that. Okay, I'll take it. And of course... Before I go inside, ring the doorbell. Make sure no one's inside. Think we're good? We are good. Awesome. So, <laughs> I'll go ahead and grab some lapis lazuli. Oh, first I gotta put away some of this redstone stuff. And I'll put away these uh, these lamps as well. And I'll go ahead and grab some lapis lazuli. And I already have a pick. So, we're just going to grab these three and grab the pick that I already made a while back. And uh, if I don't like the enchantment on the pick, I can just put one on a sword. Because right now... I have a pretty decent sword, but there's always room for improvement. So if I don't like the enchantment on the pick, I'll go ahead and put it on the sword. But we'll see what we are going to get. We'll go up to our lovely enchanting room. Let's find out. Let me make sure nothing, none of this is getting blocked. And uh, there we go. Let's see. What are we going to get? First off, let's try the pick. Let's see. Oh, and I want to make sure. I don't know if the bug is still there, but I need to make sure that I get rid of the pick that I have in my, in my inventory. So we'll get rid of everything enchanted. Just to make sure, because it still messes around with that sometimes. Okay, now we'll give it a go. Let's see. With the pick, we get an unbreaking three, which I already have, I think, right? I already have that. Unbreaking three on the sword. Do I have that? All right, let's see. So unbreaking three on a sword or pick. I have Unbreaking 3 on that, so there's no point, and I have Unbreaking 3 on that. Are you serious right now? I guess I gotta do something else. What else could I enchant? I, I really I, I really don't even know. What do I have in my bow? Unbreaking 3 as well. Is it gonna... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Do I really have nothing to enchant now? Also, I want to bring this enchanted book with me. What is this one? Sharpness 3. I don't need that. And Unbreaking 1. I want to bring that one with me. And, um, what, like, really, what else could I enchant? Um, hmm. I don't see anything else. May, ah. Yeah, on breaking, it's going to be on all the tools. So I guess I could try to make better armor. Yeah, okay, what do I have on my chest plate? Let's find out. Protection four. All right, well, do I make another chest plate? Here's what I'll do. I'll bring enough diamonds to make another chest plate. And then what I'll do is I'll bring in a dummy piece of armor. So let's bring in these pants. Oh, I need to put something away. Uh, what do I put away? What do I put away? What do I put away? All right, I'll put away some of this. And I guess these pork chops. So I'll bring these dummy pants. And I'll see what enchantments are put onto these pants. If I were to enchant them. And if it's something other than what I have on my chest plate, which I think is protection four... I'll go ahead and do it. I'll go ahead and do it. But I don't know if that's going to be the case. So we'll try this out. What do we get if I put in these dummy pants? What do I get? Protection three. Are you serious, man? What about this? Oh, geez. There's really nothing I can do. There's really nothing. There's no way I can win this. There's no way I can win this. Everything is everything is something I already have. You know what? I'll just go grab a book and we'll enchant it. Why not? We have 30 levels. Man, I was really looking forward to this. I really don't like how random this is because I really could have got something great, like looting. But unfortunately, I can't. So what I'll do now is I'll just grab a book and I guess I'll enchant it because I want to enchant something. So we'll go ahead and take one of these 64 books um, and then we'll go ahead and see what we can get. I don't know what this is going to put on the book. If it puts on protection, I'm going to cry. But it is what it is. It is what it is. If it puts on protection on this book... I don't know what I'm going to do, but we'll give it a go, and we'll see. So we'll put these in. I'm not even going to look. I'm going to close my eyes. Okay, here goes the book. I'm going to close my eyes and tap it. I don't even know what it did. What did it do? Oh, hold on. I have to click on it and then tap it. Okay, what did it do? Oh, flame one and lure one. Lure two. That's weird, because I, do I have, can you put flame on a bow? Or on, on a, you can put flame on a bow, but can you put it on a fishing rod? Get over here, Mr. Fishing Rod. I want to try this. 
Oh, I don't have another one. Anyways, I, I don't think you can. I don't know. We'll leave these books up here, though. And, uh, yeah, that should be good. I'll grab all the stuff I want to keep. I'll put the, I'll put the lapis back, and, uh, we'll go ahead and, we'll go ahead and quit this episode here. So that's very anticlimactic. Very anticlimactic. I'll try to get some better enchantment done later, but for now, that's basically all. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Please remember to drop a like on the video if you did enjoy. Check out the download link in the description. Uh, if it's coming soon, it's coming soon, but, uh, check out that. Let me know what you guys think about that, too. That's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you all later. Oh, and give me a name for the orange cat if you're still here. Because I still I still need that. I still need that. We got mittens and someone else. We gotta figure that out. Anyways, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoy. I'll talk to you all later. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.